Hey everyone, Jagtagger93 here, back with another comprehensive Doom WAD review. Today we're looking at Gothic Space, a WAD that uh, got my attention because it used the G word, it used the word Gothic. Now, if you know me and you know the kind of maps I gravitate towards, yeah, I, I really like maps and WADs that really have a very Gothic foreboding ambience to it, and I was hoping you'd get that here. And the readme file made it sound pretty interesting, it says the WAD is set in outer space on a medieval, well, castle. And I thought, okay, there's some room for originality here, even though it is kind of combining the two main themes of a quake, even though it's a doom wad, of uh, medieval structures and science fiction. But you know what? I can dig it, especially in Doom. Let's go. But unfortunately, it's kind of a forgettable experience. There's really not a lot here to really latch on to, not really a lot to uh, that you'll see that's very memorable. And overall, it's kind of a slog, especially your first time playing it. Your first time playing it too, I recommend going with Hurt Me Plenty or lower. Don't try Ultra Violence because this WAD is very much a trial and error type of experience as I'll uh, point out here. So to start, you come to a puzzle. Yes, right at the beginning you got a puzzle. You got these pillars that lower as you flip these switches. And some of the switches will gradually lower the Red Skull key card that you need to progress. But some of the pillars when they lower don't actually lower the key card at all. They actually just lower and there's an imp there. And you have to be careful with the ammunition here. Uh, by the way, there's a shotgun you get right after killing the chain gunner that's just there. Why? Sure, I guess. But anyway, you take out the uh, chain gunner, you get your shotgun, and early on ammunition is very, very precious. So I recommend trying to ignore as many lost souls as possible. Get that red key card and move on. And the next section after you go through that red door is pretty much the most annoying part of the map, in my opinion. Uh, I say that because there's other annoying parts in the, in the map too, but I was able to figure out a strategy for tackling them after trial and error, but this area, I, I really can't think of anything else besides just being quick. So you go through this red door and up on this ledge there's these shotgun guys looking at you if you're playing on Herbie Plenty. If you're playing on Ultra Violence, the shotgunners are replaced with chain gunners. Now going through a door and having chain gunners have a beat on you immediately, that's bad enough, but to your right on the same level as you are two revenants coming up and just as an added obstacle to your left is the stairway up to where the chain gunners are but there's two pinkies right there bottlenecking it so really awkward um, and it really takes some skill and some well, clever use of cover and I'm not saying it's impossible it's definitely doable but be ready for it especially again going with as many shotgun shells get that blue armor that you find earlier from that puzzle and try and go with as much health as possible after that, uh, things are pretty calm up until, I mean, you actually do find a super shotgun, thankfully, behind a really, really obvious secret, but things are pretty chill up until you get to this one large area where you have these revenants, imps, and other uh, demons here, and yeah, uh, here it's, you definitely want to make good use of your rockets and uh, clear out the way, and up ahead is a cyber demon through this long hallway. Now. This is what I mean when it's trial and error. It's very tempting, like I did in my first playthrough, to, well, I got I got rockets, I got a long hallway, but a door I can use for cover, I'll take out the Cyber Demon. Don't do that, it's a needless waste of ammunition, and yes, ammo is pretty precious in this map, but the one type of ammo this map gives you plenty of, which is kind of annoying, but they do, is rockets. And unfortunately, it's very easy to waste your rockets on the Cyber Demon when it's best just to leave the Cyber Demon alone. In fact, that's kind of how it is for a lot of the map. Uh, there's a lot of sections where it's best just to run and bolt and leave. And unfortunately, you don't really know which sections those are until after you've played it a few times and well, trial and error. Uh, the dark hallway areas, for example, are ones you could largely just run by and you know bolt right through. Uh, there's also a uh, soul sphere right near where the cyber demon is. Plus, there's a BFG very close by. Recommend getting both of those. Especially the BFG, which helps if you ever get pinned, which will happen by enemies. And again, you're probably going to be low on shotgun shells. Don't really have a lot of bullets in this map either. You're going to have plenty of rockets, but a lot of good that does you when the enemies are right in front of you. So uh, the BFG definitely helps with that. Now, also too, when I was playing, I did find one weird glitch. Uh, it was on Ultra Violence. You do come to one spot where you do get quite a bit of rockets, some stim packs, and shotgun shells, but... The door closed behind me and I couldn't open it back up so I had to no clip back out. 
So deeper into the map, there are some maze sections which usually hide a uh, key card. Now you wouldn't know they're hiding a key card or skull key as it is uh, until you actually, well, trial and error. It's very easy to run right by where these uh, keys are located and just be caught wandering. And then what really sucks is if you've been playing this map correctly, you haven't been killing everything you've been seeing. So it really stinks having to backtrack and walk through areas full of demons that you left alive. So really annoying. Uh, definitely get those um, keys as quickly as you can. And uh, well, maybe it's best to um, go in this one with low expectations. Don't expect anything amazing here. Don't expect anything bad either. Again, I do praise the author for putting some thought into this kind of gameplay, this kind of um, target selection and ammo prioritization, which I really appreciate. I just think it could have been done a lot better. For example, the last area, which you have a huge fight of uh, enemies, and then enemies start appearing in waves afterward, but the waves are pretty thin. The biggest fight is what happens initially, but what's really annoying is like I said, you have plenty of rockets, and this section loves having enemies teleport in, so it's entirely possible to be firing rockets at enemies at a distance, and then, boop, a Capcut Demon just teleports right in front of you, catches a rocket, and yeah, you just gotta uh, suck it down. So, kind of annoying. Um, I would have preferred it if the last fight had more of a gradual buildup, and over time, the uh, area here kind of filled with enemies. Um, but again, there was thought put into it. If you do fall off this bridge area, there are teleporters to tell you teleport you right back on, which is pretty merciful and pretty well thought out by the author. And the secrets are pretty easy to find, and the secrets are very much appreciative, very much worth it. And there is a definite attention to ammo placement as well too, so I can't rate this one below 5 in good conscience. I can't call this one a bad map. I'm not going to say it's fun either, but I will rate this one a 5.7 out of 10. It's barely above average just under what I would call good and if you're up for a challenge give it a shot and that's all I really have to say about it thank you all for watching this is Jagtagger93 signing out you have a good one